What's up, everybody, and welcome back. So, uh, back on the grill out here again. Now, I already, uh, thanks, guy. I already threw it together, so, but I'll tell you what it is. It's a really quick, simple marinade. So, you like carne asada? I do, but we're not using steak. <laughs> so, it's not carne. It's pollo. Pollo asada. Pollo is chicken. I, pollo is chicken. Yeah. Pollo. Pollo? Are you saying pollo? I didn't say polio. I said oh, okay, polio. Okay, just sure. El polio. El polo. Okay. Polio. I'm, yeah, that's what we made. Chicken. So come over here. Look what I got. I used six pounds of chicken. We used one cup of orange juice, two thirds cup avocado oil, a half a cup chopped up cilantro, one whole white onion, four cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of chili pepper, one tablespoon of cumin, and two teaspoons of salt, and lastly, two teaspoons of black pepper. I've let that marinate for overnight, and you know, can I have that? Thank you very much. And you know what I did to that chicken, right? I beat the heck out of it. So I banged and banged and bang that chicken to make it nice and even one layer okay so we're going to take that we're going to put it on the grill which has been preheating again i get this from my local grocery store at heb it's just straight avocado oil the grill is hot folks it is hot now if you're scared find someone else to do this let's go ahead and put this meat down i always like to put the presentation side down first so that's usually the top part of the chicken remember once you put the chicken down you don't bother until it's time to turn Now don't let all that good marinade go. We put that right on top of there and let that sit. And it's gonna cook up good. All right, so I'm gonna let this cook for about four minutes. Come out, turn it halfway, let it cook for another three minutes and flip it. Now remember, we made that chicken very thin so we don't wanna overcook it, all right? Now normally I would take you through doing this all in the kitchen, but I've got about 11 people in that house. It's my son's graduation. We did that yesterday, so I threw this together real quick, late at night, and I wasn't about to film. But again, I'll put the ingredients on the screen so you know what I did. It's really simple. It's all about the grill. Like I said, we get a lot of use out this grill. If you're liking this video so far, be sure to go ahead and make sure you give it a thumbs up. Go ahead, and smash that like button. It really does help me out. Woo, smoke it. And if you want someone to, you know, if you want to share this out and let someone know, go ahead and do that. Share it out to your friends. Share it out to the world. Share it out to somebody you don't like. I don't care. Just get it out there. We're about to blow this thing up. All right, y'all. I am really high off of something. Must be the smoke fumes. But uh, it's time for me to get in the house. And uh, I'm working on that smoothie recipe at the same time. So that'll be the other video that you see before this. Go check that one out. And then follow this one. All right? Cool. All right, it's been about four minutes, and uh, let's go ahead and turn this chicken. So come in close. All right. So you see how the edges are starting to turn brown? Perfect. That's when you want to flip it. Look how it comes off. Oh, my gosh. Somebody call. Call my daddy. Daddy! Yeah! Did you come here? Am I doing a good job? Come over oh here, daddy. Oh, my goodness. So how does that look? That is beautiful. That's good? Your mama taught you good. Mm-mm-mm. See? That's why when you put the chicken down, you don't turn it because it rips it. Preheat your oven first, spray with the oil, it doesn't stick. This chicken is just turning, just turning. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Just make you hungry looking at it. <laughs> make you hungry looking at it. Getting We're going to have some fun with these kids here today on this graduation. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, oil. Mom, I can tell you already graduated. Woo. Your cooking skills are genuine. Boy, your mama taught you good, girl. I but thought you could cook too, Dad. A little help from the dad. A little help? So we're going to let this cook for about another four to five minutes. Come out here and check it with our thermometer, right? So for when you're cooking poultry, 165 degrees is done. So make sure that you stick a thermometer in it. Otherwise, you can cut it open, make sure it's all white uh, in the chicken. But that's what we got going on. Um, I'm filming another video at the same time. We are making the smoothies. So if you see me in the same outfit, same day, 
Sorry. This has to get put down. We have to go finish the smoothie because people are asking me for food. I don't know what they think this is. They're saying a restaurant. Baby. <laughs> All right. All right, folks, let's go back in the house. All right, chicken is done. Time to get it off the grill. 165 degrees and done. All right, let's go take this in the house and let's see what else we do with this because this is not done yet. This is just step one. You know what? I, you know what? The party's just getting started. Isn't that a song? Is that a song? Let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. What's the rest of it? I need some more. No, oh, whatever. Let's get this party started. All right, so I took the chicken off. Now I've got some corn here that I got at the grocery store. I already shucked it. Shucked it means that I took off that green husk and the uh, like the silk. And of course, you know I always wash my vegetables in three parts water, one part vinegar. So a little trick I do is anytime I cook corn, I put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes per air uh, ear per ear. <laughs> that way it doesn't take forever in a day to cook on the grill and you don't overcook it and dry it out. <laughs> All right, so we got 12 pieces of corn down there. And what I'll do is I'll let it cook a few minutes on each side. Corn does take a long time to cook, especially on the grill. That's why if you can put it in the microwave, it really does help things out a little bit. So a couple minutes, we'll get a nice good char on it. And then I'm going to make this a little special. So when this is not all that's going to be done. We're just grilling it, get that grill smoky flavor. All right, the chicken's done. We'll see what we make with that in a minute too. Whew. Hi, I've been running around. All right. All right, so I let the corn cook for about four minutes on one side and about four minutes on the next side. Time to go ahead and take it off. We got a good little bit of color on it. You don't want to burn it, but you do want some color. It's not burnt. Now, if you had to cook this fully from like fresh, you'd still be out here cooking. That has, that's how you get your corn burnt and dried out. No good. So that's it. That's all we're doing with the corn on the grill. Now we're going to make it chili lime corn. It's just like butter, baby. Butter. I used to live in California for about five years and uh, we used to go to, what is that? Disneyland. And Disneyland sells this corn and it's always like dipped in chili and butter. You know, and I'm just like, it's the, I had to recreate it. So that's what we're about to do now. Let's go ahead and get this started. All right, so let's go ahead and make this chili lime corn. I've got some Kerrygold butter. We're gonna use four tablespoons of that. Now I'm using a lot of corn, so it's not like it's, uh, I'm using all this butter. We have all this corn. Now, I did take two pieces out because I got two little kids. It's like, no, can you make mine plain? I'm like, yes, I can. All right, four tablespoons of butter. And if you look on the butter, it's already pre-cut for you. So all you have to do is count to four and you got your four tablespoons. One, two, three, four. Now, some recipes may call for more, but I'm just not about that life. I love corn plain the way it is, but I also do like a little bit of, you know, a little flavor to it, a little kick it up a notch every once in a while. I'm gonna put this in the microwave to soften it just a little bit. I would say maybe about 30 seconds. Okay, I don't wanna fully melt it. I just want it melted a little bit, soften. So if you are making this, you could leave the butter out for a little while as well. Mm, I miss butter. Actually, no, I don't. One tablespoon of chili powder, and then we have one lime. I'm gonna use some of its zest and the juice. The reason why you zest the lime is you really wanna make sure you have that lime flavor. And sometimes, you know, the lime juice can kind of dissipate when you start mixing it with other flavors, but the uh, zest is not going to. And normally, you can't eat the rind of a lime because it's just not good, but when you zest it, you make it nice and thin, just like that. See how it's nice and fine? All right, so I had to cut that in half. I'm gonna use juice of half the lime. And if my voice sounds a little bit hoarse, like I said, my son graduated yesterday and I might have been one of the loudest moms there. So proud. I'm gonna stir that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this over top. You can do this in a Ziploc bag too if you have one. I'm gonna take the rest of the zest of the lime, do it right over top. Now with my limes, I always put them in the microwave first to release the juice. And I always wash my limes because nobody wants a dirty lime. I wanna make sure that juice, that butter mixture is all throughout mixed. And we're just gonna shake this up. Make sure it's on tight. You, like I said, you can do this in a Ziploc bag. Mm. My abs are sore from the gym. This is a workout. Ah. Mm. All right. 
I don't know about you, but this is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and try it, Pete. See that right there? All right, let's see how this is. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I'm gonna go away. Mm -mm, go. It's my corn. All right, that's it. I eat corn funny. Go away. Oh my gosh, family, I love them. This boy hot. is growing. It's, yeah, it's Texas, boy. It's Texas. All right, like you said, it's hot. Get out of here. All right, so this grill has been on. I am sweating. I still have a change from the gym, but I got some asparagus here. You've seen me make this a hundred times simple. A little bit of avocado. You could use olive oil, grapeseed oil, any kind of oil except for like vegetable or canola. I don't use those two. But uh, two tablespoons. I have four of those like big bunches of uh, asparagus and then like one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper. That's all I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna put it on the grill and cook it for about five to 10 minutes, okay? The grill is hot. Now, don't always keep your grill at full, you know, full flame. Um, at different times when I'm cooking my meat, I actually only put it like on like 50% on medium. This is actually on medium low because I don't wanna burn anything. Oh, don't fall. Hey, you little fellas, there one went. What happens when you get tired, you just want to hurry and get done. We're gonna close it out, we're gonna keep chucking on them, make sure they don't overcook, but that's it. We've got some asparagus, chili lime corn, and we're about to make those polo, no, polo? That's how you say chicken, right? You don't know? Okay. Polo asada, asada. Pollo. Pollo, pollo, okay. I'm sorry, I live in Texas. I live in California. I still can't speak Spanish, but I try. Pollo asada. So it basically means grilled chicken meat. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, there. Just say chicken. Just say chicken. Grilled chicken. Yeah, okay. Make it easy, he said. Thank you. Make it easy. Uh, 10 year olds, you know what I'm saying? You gotta love them. All right, see you in a minute. All right, guys, so we're wrapping things up, coming to a conclusion up in this kitchen. I toasted some uh, corn tortillas. Uh, these are kind of small, so you probably do like three for a serving. I uh, toasted them a little bit on a pan, and then I chopped up a half of an onion. I have about a half a cup of cilantro here I chopped up, and the juice of one lime along with some of its uh, zest. So I'm going to put that in a bowl because that's what we're going to put over top of the tacos as well. We'll put that in. I'm going to go ahead and put the cilantro right on top. And then we'll put some lime juice in with the uh, lime zest. We're gonna put two tablespoons of your grapeseed oil, avocado oil, pr uh, preferably olive oil, I just don't have any, but you gotta use what you got on. Now, what kind of salt do I use, people? Himalayan pink salt, my salt of choice. I buy this at Costco. This is gonna last me probably another eight months a year. I, I don't know how long this lasts, it's a long time. I haven't bought one in a while. Just one half a teaspoon. And of course, a half a teaspoon of some black pepper as well. Take that, stir that up. Okay, you let that sit, put that to the side. I also got some guacamole here. H-E-B is my local grocery store. It's the best guacamole around, besides the one that I make. But uh, it's pretty darn good. So H-E-B, I didn't feel like making this, so guacamole here. All right, let's put one together because I am hungry. And I think there's some uh, people around. Yes, I see you right there. He's hungry too. So we'll put a little bit of chicken. Actually, the longer this sits, the better, because it will really help to break down that bite on the onion. That's what the um, citrus does. It takes away that bite. A lot of times when you're using fresh onion, you wanna go ahead and either soak it in some water or a little bit of vinegar to take away that bite. Or you could do some lemon or some lime as well. Just put a dab on here. Go get me a spoon over there. All right. A little dab will do you right on top. What were you doing? Hmm? Yeah, what were you just doing? Oh, sorry. No avocado on mine. Can you try it and see if you like it? Can you try it for me? Fine. Okay, thank you. Gosh, just a little bit. Let's do a taste test. All right, that one's yours because I want a little bit more on mine, a little more onion. I didn't give you as much. Okay, come on. That one's yours. Ready? Oh! 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 I'm hungry! Well, hold on a second. You see that right there? Mm -hmm. All right, one, 
two, three. Mm. That's good. Mmm. Three for four. How you, what up, I'm hungry. All right, guys, that's a wrap on these wraps. Polo, polo, no, no. Just say chicken. No, 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 no. Chicken, grilled chicken. Pollo asada street tacos. Cheese. We got, mm -hmm, thank you. We got some chili lime corn, some grilled asparagus. There's a lot of hungry people in this house. 11. 11 people, like you said. So we're gonna go eat. I had way more corn in, than this probably like 30 minutes ago, some people came and just started taking stuff out. Anyway, I'm sorry, that's enough. If you like this video, go ahead and please go ahead and comment, subscribe, do your thing, lay it down smash in the comments. Like button. Mm -hmm. Smash that like button like he said, you heard him, you heard? No, seriously, go ahead and do that. Let me know what you thought down below. Do you like this video? Do you like the content? I know I didn't show all the prep, but you kind of get the ideas. I'll put some of the directions um, in the video, down in the description, but other than that, we about to be out of here. So you know what I say? Down Stay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cover your mouth when you're talking. All right. You got food in your mouth. All right. Stay focused. Stay positive. And keep it moving. Keep it, keep it moving. moving. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Los más lunáticos. <risa>